Right, we're going to work through the charge to mass ratio. Now, some of you may struggle with this, but what we're going to do is we're going to go through it step by step, to hopefully you can get it. Right, so first of all, we need to know the charge of the proton and the electron. And it's the same value, but it's different in sign. So, charge of an electron is 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Now that is an electron, so it's a negative charge. Now for the proton, the charge of the proton is 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And that is positive in charge. Right, so the mass of protons and neut neutrons all together, they're going to be the same mass. Now we know they're very slightly different because they've got slightly different quark combinations inside. But for the purposes of charge to mass ratios and all the other different things that you have to do in calculating masses, we're just going to use the standard mass, which is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. Okay, it's a really, really tiny, small amount. Right, okay, and this is the charge. There the charge is. Right, okay. So masses, and you've got the charges. Now to work out the charge to mass ratio, it's pretty straightforward. All you do is you divide the charge by the mass. Now the charge to mass ratio for the proton is given on the data sheet, but we're just going to work it out anyway and see if it works. Right, so here, if we just work it out for the proton first of all. Now, so the proton charge is 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 and we're going to divide that by the mass of the proton. So the mass of the proton is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. Okay, so if we divide those two together then we should get the exact number. So try it. Okay, so I've just done this on my calculator and I've come up with a number of this. I've got 9, 5, 8083 eight, 83.23 three. Right, okay, so that is a charge to mass ratio. Okay, now that's ridiculous. You'd never present an answer um, in an exam like that. What we do is we look at the significant figures on the two numbers here. So you've got the significant figures, they're both three significant figures. So work out how many um, powers I need. So here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right, okay, so that gives me um, 9, 9.58 times 10 to the power of 7. And what we've done here, we've divided coulombs by kilograms. So that is coulombs per kilogram. Okay, if you hold up on the data sheet, that should exactly match. We're now going to work out the charge to mass ratio of the helium nucleus. Now, the helium nucleus, uh, we're going to ignore the electrons because the electrons have been taken away and it's just the nucleus on its own. So we know we've got two protons here with the two at the bottom and we've got four nucleons, which tells us we've got two protons and two neutrons, which makes four altogether. Right, so we've got a charge here of plus two. Now it's the protons here, so what we've got here um, is we've got two protons. So we've got two times 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19. Now, as with the last one, you might have found out that you didn't get exactly the right answer. Here it is so important we actually start to put lots and lots of brackets into our calculators because sometimes they just calculate things which are completely random. So I'm going to put in here as I would um, put it directly into my calculator. I put two brackets around there, I put brackets around there. So I start with a bracket and then I would divide it all by the total mass that I've got here. So that's the total charge, it's just two times the charge on the proton, because you've got two, two protons. And the mass is four times the mass of and nucleon. So I'm going to start with a bracket, so that's 4 times 
1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. Right, and two brackets on the end. Right, so if you have a go at that now and see what answer you come up with. Right, okay, so on my calculator, I've come up with this number here. So I've got 47904191.92. And again, here, we're going to use the significant figures. So here we've got three significant figures here, and three significant figures here. You might be thinking, why am I so using these twos and fours here? And that is just because these are just saying I've got two lots of this. And it's not actually anything to do with the significant figures and how accurately I know the charge of a proton. So, um, let's go back then. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, so I'm going to put in here. 4.79 times 10 to the 7 and because I've divided coulombs by kilograms it's coulombs per kilogram 